Welcome to our homeschool cooking class. Today we're going to make some brownies. First things first, we're going to start with a clean space. Go ahead and look in the description box for a link where you can go get one of these Enviro cloths. They are amazing. Rule number two, no flying hair. Tie it up. It's gross to get hair in your food. To make your brownies today, you'll need 10 tablespoons of butter, one and a quarter cup raw sugar, three quarter cups plus two tablespoons of cocoa, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon vanilla extract, three medium eggs cold, and half a cup of flour. You'll also need a baking dish, square baking pan, and if desired, an electric mixer. First thing you're going to do is cream together your butter and your sugar until it's kind of smooth. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. It will get that way as you go. Here we're creaming it together. I usually start it on stir and then I speed it up. Now we're going to add our eggs and then we're going to cream it together some more and this will help to get things so it's more creamy. Next we're going to add our salt, vanilla, and cocoa and we're going to mix it up really well. We found that we didn't like it to poof up in our face so we used a spatula to get it started mixing. You may just add a little at a time and get a, a good result there but we added ours all at once so we had to stir it with a spatula to get started. We're going to cream that together too. Now add your flour and we did the same thing with the flour. We didn't want it to poof up in our faces so we mixed it with a spatula and then we started it with the mixer. Mix it really, really well until it kind of changes color. It'll get a little lighter. Really let it mix up good. Now we're gonna butter that baking dish. And I just use soft butter and my fingers. You can use the spray stuff if you want to, but this is how I like to do it. We're gonna scoop the batter in and resist the urge to eat some because it's so yummy. Preheat the oven to 325 degrees and you're going to bake this for 30 minutes and then test it with a knife to make sure, or a toothpick to make sure that it's done. All done. It's going to be really soft so allow it to cool and then you cut it into, I cut it into nine pieces and serve. Thanks for watching. Please help us out. Like and share this video and subscribe for updates. We'll see you later. Enjoy!